Good morning guys, Coach Theo here on Kuma Sands. Starting the day out by catching some sunlight with my bare feet on the ground. Something you should do most of your days for 10 to 15 minutes if you can. Photons and electrons, that's what it's all about. So today we're going to be talking about how to not care what people think about you. And like many of my videos, this is inspired by a comment I got. I love the comments, guys, whether positive, negative, <laughs> neutral, angry, sad, happy uh, questions you may have. Uh, they, they're great food for thought, trigger me to get good ideas for videos. So please keep it up. But okay, I had this video where I asked, you know, do, you, do women prefer a pretty face or a nice body? And I said that uh, you shouldn't care about that. You should care about what you think a man should be and strive to be more of that. And you'll attract everything and everyone that's meant for you, like women, friends, and people you associate with, situations you want to be with, and everything else, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it can just go away because it wasn't for you anyway. I was talking about, you know, how I do some uncommon things, uncommon sense, right? And uh, some people would think I'm fucking weird, but do you think I care about that? I don't give a shit, you know? But you gotta understand, it's rhetoric because not caring is both about literally not caring, but also about caring less about the fact that you care. Do you understand? So we're gonna go through how you can accomplish this. And I'll tell you how I went down this path of starting to care less about what others think of me. So back in the day, I went through this thing with panic attacks. You know, when I was my previous self, skinny, fat, hedonist, loser, hipster, uh, alcoholic, or alcoholic, but drinking a lot, party, yeah, well, that, that kind of guy. Uh, and I started having these daily panic attacks. One thing, it was one of my biggest struggles in life was that I had stage fright. You know, uh, I felt like I'm supposed to be in front of people uh, that I, I like good at that, delivering a message uh, of some kind, even performing in some kind. I have a singing background, you know, but these uh, situations just terrified me. And uh, back then I didn't know, I didn't understand myself as deeply. But when I started having these panic attacks, it made any just everyday situation um, feel like that sort of a performance situation. And I just knew at this point in my life that I had always been running from those kinds of situations as much as possible because they, it never really went <laughs> that well when I wasn't there. I was very scared of them. But now I just knew that I have to expose myself to these situations that make me panic or else my life is fucking over. I live as a shut-in or I'll have to go on medications or, or I'll end up killing myself because I'm not overcoming this. So I had to over and over face the judgment because what I realize now is that I had a deep fear of abandonment. That if I show myself authentically and that there's something wrong with my authentic self and people will reject it and abandon me for it. And uh, so with the stage fright thing, it was that, of course, even if I was a much less developed person, I could be confident and relaxed and funny in many situations, right? And I just hated having to expose this part of me that was absolutely terrified in those situations. You know, some people, they, they get nervous, but uh, they say they were nervous and you couldn't really tell. You could tell with me, okay? And I absolutely felt like, I'll show a part of myself that is um, unlovable, unforgivable, and people will abandon me. And so it was a similar thing I felt with these panic attacks. Like, it, it's so fucking weird. It, Theo, that's usually just, you know, relaxed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that he's fucking freaking out. Just sitting by a table, having lunch or something. You know, I, I felt like I, I'm gonna get abandoned, but I had no choice at this point in my life. And what I learned through exposing myself to this fear of judgment that that is, is that people didn't abandon me. Uh, and really too, when you think of it, um, if people would, because of a thing like that, when I'm struggling, I go through hell, are these people that uh, are even in a position to abandon me or are they people that I don't really want to have anything to do with? But really that didn't even happen, of course. Most people just sympathized and understood that it must be a big struggle. So, you know, I go through this. I, I teach myself by gr uh, like repeatedly exposing myself to this situation that it's not dangerous. Um, people won't leave me. They, in fact, um, will sympathize with me. And so gradually these panic attacks went away. And look, I gained so much self-love through this too. Uh, I, I knew from within how fucking difficult what I had gone through was. So I 
was impressed with myself. I held myself in high regard. I loved myself for what I did for me in combination with just pro this proving, this huge fear that I've always had. And so later on, I start training and, that, and, and it gives me because that's the thing. The panic attacks, when they were over, I was still not in a great state, you know. Um, but then I start uh, just trying the healthier lifestyle, giving it a go, m uh, noticing that I'm feeling so much better, knowing this is the path to walk on. And I get good results also in term of the, terms of the just pure physical, you know, body transformation, getting stronger kind of results. And so I, I posted some pictures before I had this Instagram and uh, YouTube channel, uh, just on my private things and telling my story, you know, and sharing transformation pictures. And I get an overwhelmingly positive response. But then I hear some talk about uh, uh, <laughs> uh, behind my back. People think that I'm a kind of a narcissist. Like he has to show his body like that and that. And to me, at this point, I actually didn't care so much about that. It's more like, a, wow, some people really think that? Because I knew that I was so fucking happy of fe or feeling the best I ever had in my life after having gone through the worst period of my life. And I just know that there are a lot of other people that struggles. I just want to put out my story and show what I've done so other people in a similar spot can get inspired and know that it's possible. It is in fact possible. So it actually even was quite difficult to even care what, what these people did. Okay, they got me wrong. Okay, you, you can be wrong. I fucking know what I do, uh, why I did it. And um, if someone doesn't understand it well, th that's their problem. They have something to work on. So you see, what, what I mean is, well, by not caring, is that the more validation you get from within, you're, you're, you, you trust that. If you feel validated from within, it's, it's difficult to care as much when people have the wrong opinion, they just got you wrong, you know. But the other thing is, that the more you get to know yourself, when you go through a journey of self-development and you introspect a lot, you try to figure things out that I did, fear of abandonment and that, um, the better you understand yourself, the more you also understand when you are triggered and you actually care what, what someone thinks or you, you take a comment or something someone does personally or something, you, you can respond instead of reacting because maybe you have this like, ah, I don't like that uh, and kind of get defensive fear or whatever but you know yourself better so like yeah it's because I'm sensitive about this thing because of this reason and so take some breaths you know <laughs> reset it's not really a big deal it's just a sensitive spot for me you know so you see what I mean not caring it's actually that the more you just become the fucking best person you know genuinely feel that way not from a narcissistic arrogant point of view you just fucking know because of what you do you keep proving to yourself that i am fucking awesome it's like that that other little people have a differing opinion of you it's just hard to care but even when you care you can be, that's what actually stoicism is it's not being just like a rock and actually literally not feeling anything it's not being controlled by your emotions, knowing yourself, understanding why you react a certain way uh, so that you don't get as reactive and can choose to respond differently to the situations. But uh, I also say I've done throughout these years because I've understood this, how much we, fear, fear, you know, fears can be like my um, stage fright there, that it's actually acute uh, fear like that, but they rule our life on a subconscious level all the time, even when we don't feel that acutely. Like a thing like putting out YouTube videos is not something I would have felt like, uh, like get my <laughs> heart racing from, but I was afraid of exposing myself to the judgment, you know. But so when I understood it, that the fear is what ho holds us back the most in life. I just uh, understood that, uh, especially through my experience with the panic attacks, it's like the biggest fe intense feeling of fear that you can get that facing fears is how you overcome them and you feel you just care less you, you're less scared of anything when you face your fears and notice that hey I, I did it well you know so I have willingly put myself in situations when I care what people think you know if you go back and watch not this summer uh, like two years ago I was dancing a lot outside to video game music in public places so both people that walk by see me but you online see me and it's very silly it's fucking ugly dancing but it's something I just think it's fun. This video game music, it, re it, it reminds me of when I was a kid and it makes me want to just move to it, even if I'm not good at it, you know, but I am having fun with it. But yes, 
I, I am uh, afraid uh, when I start doing that that people, oh, he's weird. What the fuck is he doing? What a fucking weirdo, you know? But that's the reason why I did it. And the more I did it, the less I cared. Because what does it really matter if someone thinks I'm weird dancing to video game music? Should I let that hold back from expressing my, uh, hold me back from expressing myself authentically and just having fucking fun life experience like that? Okay. So the, the, the last thing I'll say is too that now we're talking about caring on an emotional level. You can both stop like caring, emotion, like literally not, not caring, but also be more in control when you actually have an emotional response to, you know, w what other people do uh, about you, what they think about you, things they say to you uh, and that. But it's not that you shouldn't, I mean, you have to care even on just a, like, if you literally don't care, you have to have some ego because the, you, you know, you, you make it very, your life very difficult if you literally never ever take into consideration other people <laughs> and how what you do may affect them and that. Even if you don't emotionally care, you have to. But that's the thing, you know, it, it's a spectrum. People are, are more on the empath side of the spectrum, like me. We, we really have to learn to, to care less, you know. Uh, what other people think but th there are people that really have to learn to care more because they they just don't have that natural empathy you know empathy uh, as an emotion it, it, it's not it, it, that not having high empathy doesn't necessarily mean that you are a bad person it's just that you don't naturally attune to others people's feelings like that ah yeah how, how long have we gone okay it's a little bit long I mean there's always a lot to be said but um, yeah guys uh, please leave a comment and like all help support. I'm very much interested, but it helps support the channel too, helps more people find the videos. So I very much appreciate it. I do coach holistic bodybuilding, work on ourselves holistically, body, mind, and soul, using the body building, the, the sculpture, as a main tool for that. So you can send me a DM on Instagram or email me. I'll get back to you with my different options for that. And please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, losing weight, building muscles, self-improvement, stoicism, mental health, philosophy, spirituality, mindset. It is a mindset, guys. Don't care, but also when you do care, don't care so much about that. Peace.